Hello, I'm Netli from Moonstone Publications. Welcome to this overview of some of the stories we've covered this past week. But first, please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. In this week's update, the information regulator pushes for tougher Bahia compliance. 4 billion rand set to flow out of retirement funds. Investors are asking questions about classic financial services investigation. The outlook for tobacco companies and stakeholders are urged to get involved in shaping South Africa's financial education charter. The Information Regulator is set to submit proposed amendments to the Promotion of Access to Information Act to Parliament. Advocate Panzit Lakula, the chairperson of the IR, believes Bahia's current provisions are too lenient and don't adequately address issues of compliance and enforcement. Lakula also acknowledged a growing public frustration over unsolicited direct marketing. Earlier this year, the regulator introduced a draft guidance note on direct marketing, which has been shared with shareholders in the sector. The regulator is in the final stages of incorporating feedback and will host an engagement session later this month to finalize the guidance note. Retirement fund members have applied to withdraw 4.1 billion rand from their savings components, according to SAS. Alex Forbes, the country's leading retirement fund administrator, has reported an unprecedented wave of claims since the system's rollout. Within just the first week, the firm processed 78,000 claims, which is equivalent to what it typically handles over six months under the former regulations. The Government Pensions Administration Agency, which manages retirement funds for the Government Employees Pension Fund, has also seen a significant increase in claims. Since the system's introduction on the 1st of September, the agency has received 63,000 withdrawal applications. Investors in Classic Financial Services 1 are growing increasingly concerned as they question the prolonged delay in the investigation into the liquidated company and its director, Kurbis Galdenes. The company is believed to have amassed more than 600 million rand from investors. A criminal investigation was initiated in July last year, but the investigation appears to have stalled. The case has been referred back to the Hawks for further investigation. Meanwhile, according to a transcript released by the liquidators, Galdenes admitted last year that Classic had been insolvent since its inception. He recounted that a personal financial shortfall in 2016 should have signaled a need to shut down the company, but his deep involvement led him to continue. Since the peak of global equity markets in mid-July, just before the Black Monday crash, high dividend yielding tobacco giants Altria and British American Tobacco have notably outperformed the broader US market. Investment analyst Rake de Klerk says tobacco shares are highly sensitive to fluctuations in U.S. bond yields. Despite the increased risk and persistent regulatory pressures facing the tobacco industry, these stocks continue to attract investors seeking superior dividend income growth compared to bonds. He believes tobacco shares offer compelling returns for those willing to manage their sensitivity to bond market movements. The FECA and National Treasury have urged financial industry stakeholders to participate in developing the draft South African Financial Education Commitment Charter. FECA Commissioner Unati Kamlana highlighted the urgent need for improved financial literacy amid growing economic pressures, rising living costs and technological advancements. Kamlana also addressed the disproportionate use of financial products such as the prevalence of funeral insurance compared to other types of coverage and warned that without comprehensive financial education, consumers will remain at risk and true financial inclusion will remain out of reach. That's all we have for this week. You can read these stories and many more on our website, moonstone.co.za. Until next time, here's wishing you all the best from the team at Moonstone Information Refinery. <music> <music>